Ordovician doesn't stay in the Ordovician. You might think that life 450 million years ago has really relatively little bearing on life that we have in our modern, but that could not actually be further from the truth. That is how paleontologists study our modern faunas and come to understand how they came to be by looking at past life on Earth and understanding the changes and dynamics of past life. Much of what was living in the Ordovician oceans 450 million years ago has representatives in our modern biota that we can see through a variety of different examples presented here. While we don't have animals like sea scorpions or huge nautiloid cephalopods anymore, we do have modern representatives. Things like horseshoe crabs and lobsters, as well as other kinds of cephalopods like squid and nautilus. These animals, while different from their fossil counterparts, still fill the same ecological roles that we see in the modern oceans today. For example, with the cephalopods, our nautiloid cephalopods were predatory as all our cephalopods uh, in the oceans today. So while we have lost many of these animals, their descendants have come to take their place and fill the roles that they would play in the oceans. While gastropods are actually quite common in the Cincinnati, and you can find these snail fossils in most rocks anywhere that you look, they actually didn't come to be a dominant marine organism until modern times. In fact, vertebrate paleontologists call this current era that we live in the age of mammals. But if you were to ask an invertebrate paleontologist like myself, I would tell you that it's the age of mollusks. Snails, while very important in Ordovician faunas, have come to rise to dominance to be the second most diverse group on Earth, just behind the insects. And many of the behaviors and roles that they play in the oceans back in the Ordovician, they still do today. In fact, an Ordovician snail looks very much like a modern snail and it's one of the most easily recognized fossils that we have. Other animals that you can find hundreds of pieces of in our local rocks are now very rare in our modern biota. An example of this would be the fossil crinoid. You can go out and find plates or ossicles of these animals in the thousands in the local rocks. And while they are around in the modern today, the stocked crinoids in particular exist only in deep, ref deep sea refugia, waters that we have to go in the Alvin submersible to take a look at. Although beautiful, these crinoids that were once major parts of our marine ecosystem in the Ordovician and the rest of the Paleozoic are now just remnants hanging on in deep sea environments.